A day after a metro train derailment left almost 200 passengers stranded in the dark, on Wednesday the focus shifted to how the accident occurred. Typically on a derailment you uh, either have a track problem or a, uh, a car a wheel problem or axle problem or a combination of the two. Charlie Pereira worked as an NTSB investigator for 15 years. With the cause of the derailment still unknown, Pereira said investigators would closely examine the maintenance of the train cars involved, as well as look closely for marks on the track between Roslyn and Arlington. The rail segments, the wheels and axles and car bodies and uh, surrounding uh, track structure. The search for clues came as WSA 9 discovered new dispatch audio of WMATA crews speaking about a brake problem on a train car near Roslyn just minutes before investigators say the derailment occurred. With the investigation ongoing, rail service remains suspended along parts of the blue line on Wednesday. I have an exam today, so I have to finish it in time. This woman says she waited around half an hour for the metro that never arrived in Roslyn before discovering the free shuttle buses offered to riders impacted by the changes. When I was there, I didn't understand that there's a shuttle waiting upstairs for us. A derailment bringing a search for answers and still impacting many riders. Tom Dempsey, WUSA 9.